Vaccination plays an essential part in health management of poultry flow. There are numerous diseases such as Gumboro disease that are prevented by vaccinating the birds against them. A vaccine helps to prevent a particular disease by triggering or boosting the bird's immune system to produce antibodies that in turn fight the evading organisms. This, in turn, helps the chicken to be more resistant to diseases and decrease the mortality rate in the poultry house. Mrs. Okello from Seme in Kisumu, another farmer waiting on the doctor to have chicks vaccinated. Dr. Eric shares with us on the subsequent vaccinations. Vaccination is, however, not given to all birds, but only to birds that seems to be in perfect conditions, as Dr. Eric explains. So this is the fall typhoid vaccine, fall pox vaccination, which is normally done as a wing stub. It's a spot here that we actually do. So our vaccination... The fall pox vaccine will go actually here. Yeah, here. Yeah. So this is, this part is called the wing web. So this is where the fall pox vaccination actually go, right here at the center. Mix the diluent and the vaccine. The vaccine was been was carried by the vaccine carrier under cold chain, so that the vaccine does not go bad. Because all our vaccinations must be maintained at cold chain. That's the right. Now you're ready. Okay. So the vaccination fall for fall pox is pretty easy. Uh, the wing stub has sort of holes here, some sort of depression holes here that accommodates 0.01 ml for the vaccine. But this is what would actually go into the wing web. After a few days, the, uh, uh, the, where we've actually done the injection will form scab and this is what will actually lead to the birds having immunity against the fallpox, uh, the virus. So it's easy, so it's simple. Once you've vaccinated the birds, we, because vaccine, vaccination is actually stressful. Uh, vaccine is actually introducing disease to a bird, but you're introducing at mild state. So that process of catching birds and doing the, the, the vaccine itself is actually stressful with the bird. So the next thing immediately after vaccination, we need to, you, the farmer should actually give the birds an anti-stress to help in um, balancing the electrolytes. So multivitamin. Yeah, it will reduce uh, stress and birth stress. Sila Owiti is more than happy for discovering chicken basket. After selling the first cycle, he was able to make reasonable profits that enabled him to acquire a second bunch that he is waiting upon. Okamanti kae adi ilkodo gweno. Anya lo pido gweno koae kagi tendo, nyakagi biye medium. Magi be a Muso Macore was again. Mago teach my bed can you say no me a lunch matin. Kuro meo, Manegima medo conyaga, Kwamaisha Mara. Quando cork a gueno? Gueno conya your mangan in a cage. Samati mugueno no. Omia marefa mocachella rea dek. To you to bend a yudo kuome. Mamio ago step machialo. Mondo mea ni. To kwa gweno waneno ka kuyo moro mako gweno kwa gwo chuni daktari daktari biro to counseling wa mondo mi wangi kaka gweno kaka nyalo thiedhi mondo mi obi obed mangima machimu ra chiel ka gweno ne tuoka mo gwo chuni daktari mo daktari no biro munyuso wakati mo ne gweno operation mo angeyo 
mondo mi wange ka gima tuo gweno kata ni en utaberi kata mana called cocodiosis mago te daktari no puonjowa kaka wanyalo ngeyo gik machalo kamago ka ni kuom gweno koro mi agone daktari ya kamano Nandi is certainly improving the small farmer by first changing the mindset to seeing poultry farming as a potential business. Nandi establishes that with 70% of chicken consumed in Kisumu comes from his company, it is an assurance for farmers that there is a sure market for his bird. So when we talk about commercialization, you want to keep chicken as a farmer. So what do we tell you is, is this. Try and remove your chicken now from the house and set up a house differently from the house. And so the only thing that can motivate you to do this is if you know where the market is, if you know that there will be someone who will come in when the chicken is sick to treat the chicken, there's a guarantee about that. And if you know there's, there's, there's profit in it, how do you know there's profit in it? We take you through the cost-benefit analysis. We tell you, look, you are taking a hundred chicken. This is the cost you spend on the feeding. This is the cost you spend on the vaccination. This is the cost you spend in all this. And this is the profit you'll get when you sell it back to us. So when you have this picture, then you as a small farmer who has some small money to pump and improve this business, you have clarity in how you're investing. We have trained and worked with act and uh, about, uh, I can say active members are about 30% are active continuously. Of course, some end up dropping along the way because of other reasons. Yeah, but uh, this has seen a lot of food production uh, as far as chicken is concerned. Our model increased in this, in, this, in this county of Kisumu. Kisumu so far, as per the current statistics, consumes about 37,000 uh, birds every day. And 70% of it comes from outside. Because people around the farmers around who have the chicken don't have enough that can sustain the market. If one hotel only give you an order of 100 chicken and the farmer has 20, you can see the picture in that. And so we want them to increase, want them to produce when they know there is, there is, there, there, there is a sure market for these birds. So that in, 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 as time goes by in future, we can also be self-sustained in terms of food security. Nandi's dream is big and audacious. Being a young entrepreneur, other youths in this region are encouraged by Nandi's dream to arise and become innovative to create their own source of employment. I left my employment and now you see I have started something that is creating more employment. So it is a good business. I have not regretted from the day I, I, I resigned from work uh, and uh, I intend to grow this business so that we can grow more food and then employ more people. One of our marketing strategies has focused largely on uh, down on the cash-based clients because of the challenges most of the SME service cash flow challenges. So we've centered our, our marketing to be more uh, on a strategy of cash-based clients. And by doing this, we've set up butcheries. Our butcheries look like this. This is a sample of our butchery. You find our fridge and our, our, our our stickers all over and we have uh, around four butcheries in busy estates where the chicken that comes from our farmers goes into our butchery. The remaining are the ones we give to a few hotels that are good in payment. But largely we focus on the butcheries because in this case we have more control of our money as an SME. And that's where the challenge, the challenge comes in. When we give hotels, most hotels take about 30 days to pay. And so you you don't have a very good, if you don't have a very good capital background, you may struggle to sustain your system. And that's how butcheries are working good with us. So this is what we have in the office right here, because we have clients who work to buy from here. They buy live chicken and they buy slaughtered chicken. So we also have this set up here in the office. With that, we come to the end of our program today. Keep watching KTN Farmers TV for more farming stories. Remember to send us your feedback through our SMS portal 22071 that is on your screen.